Hello, and welcome to the webcast. A great e-commerce platform does not guarantee a great customer experience. I'm Sharon Bell, Director of Marketing for CD Networks, and thank you very much for joining me. We'll make this um, a 10-minute um, webcast, so not too long, um, and uh, just go over some points on what is an e-commerce platform. Um, as you probably, most of you know what they are, but we'll talk about the benefits and um, mention some things about them that are wonderful, um, but why, then we'll talk about why they don't actually address site performance and the revenue impact of a slow website, and also how CDNs how allow e-commerce sites to enter new markets and also provide that performance boost, especially when markets are further away from an origin server or a data center or an e-commerce site. Um, and then also talk about how to choose a CDN. So you're probably familiar with some of the top players out there in e-commerce platforms. There are a lot of them. <laughs> they all have um, a baseline of functionality, which is site management, content management and hosting, order management, and merchandising tools. And just to give you guys a, um, an idea of kind of why people adopt e-commerce platforms, um, often it's to scale to reach new markets, to have a wider presence, um, to offload the site management and, and give it to the experts who can manage a site and host it, and to provide a rich user experience with the features that we'll go over in just a moment. And um, if you are looking for an e-commerce platform, I found a really great blog, um, and I put the link also in the console for the webcast, and um, they compare 25 of the top e-commerce platforms and um, give you a good comparison on that site. So. So features, um, basically they, they allow you to have large, beautiful images because they've got, they have the bandwidth and the hosting power to give you that, um, that ability as well as zoom and rotate those images, um, provide animations and videos, um, which are, you know, really help to sell products. Also a detailed searching by category and price range. And um, the color swatching, as we said, rotate, rotating, zooming. Interactive reviews, so you click on the stars, you see what people are saying about those products, as well as real-time inventory lookup. So those are just some of the wonderful features of e-commerce platforms that are extremely valuable. But while they provide these great features and a great user experience for finding, viewing, evaluating merchandise, they don't address speed and performance and page load times. So often e-commerce platforms have one or two data centers that they're going to host your site from, but the further away your customers are from the origin, the slower that website gets. And I'm going to show how that works in just a moment. Um, but let's first talk about um, how this, the impact of um, page speed, what impact that has on revenue and um, customers and abandonment and all of that. So there's something that's known as the two-second rule. And in most parts of the world, um, when people are searching on their laptop or their computer, two seconds is about their limit before they get frustrated and potentially leave a website. And 52% of online consumers say that, a, that page load times or speed of a website is tied to their loyalty to that brand or that, to that website, and they'll, they'll search out another solution if it takes a long time for a website to load or to go between pages or to view items. And a one-second delay um, is known to decrease views by 11%. So if someone clicks on something on your website and every one second decreases the views that someone's actually going to stay and view that page or whatever they clicked on, and it also decreases satisfaction with that brand or with that, that website. And on mobile, people are much more forgiving. They're used to things loading a little slower. So 10 seconds um, delay, uh, you lose about 50% of your mobile users at about 10 seconds of delay. So shopping cart abandonment is a, is a big deal as well. And um, recent figures show that 11% of consumers say that um, the reason that they abandon a shopping cart is because the website was too slow. It just took too long. And 5% say it's due to website errors and or, and or downtime. Then companies are losing money. Um, Target lost 464000 um, They stated it was 150 minutes of downtime during a Missoni launch, and they lost $464,000 in just that you know, amount of time. Um, Walmart 
found that for every 100 milliseconds of performance improvement, um, they were able to um, increase revenue on their site by 1%. So just milliseconds can make a difference. And this Walmart chart shows the impact of increased page load times or website load times on walmart.com and the decrease in conversions to sales. So it's massive when, you know, just going from one to two seconds to three seconds, you start to bottom out about four to six seconds or five seconds. And the blue bar shows um, the number or the population of how many people are experienced this, this uh, three, two to three seconds or three to four seconds. And it looks like the majority is in that range. And um, they know that, that conversions go down quite a bit in that range. It also affects your search ranking. So Google is still the most widely used search engine, and with their algorithms and the, how they crawl your website, if it takes a long time, sometimes they, they'll stop crawling it, and, and your, your site will not get indexed. So people won't be able to find your site when they search on key terms, and it won't be indexed because it takes too long to crawl it. So very important. And lastly, um, the word gets around. So 44, according to Forrester Research, 44% of online shoppers said they would tell friends about a bad experience. And the biggest influencer when it comes to e-commerce is friends, <laughs> and, and uh, that's the circle of influence. So let's see. Um, so now we'll talk about how a CDN can help. Gartner, um, big analyst firm, uh, basically says that serving a global user audience from one or two data center locations is difficult because of that internet latency. And they recommend global CDNs to deliver top performance at the best cost efficiency. So it's a lot more cost efficient to run over a content delivery network than to build your own data centers or to co-host, especially in, in emerging markets like Asia, who are within Asia like China. Um, this chart actually shows degradation of um, latency or performance degradation. So a site that's hosted on an e-commerce platform or hosted by an e-commerce company in the UK, even getting to mainland Europe, mainland Europe causes the website to double in download time, trying to get to the US, New York, um, still under 10 seconds, but when you, you reach LA, you're over 10 seconds, and then it gets worse and worse as you go further away. So you get to China, and you're dealing with a great firewall in addition to um, the distance, and you're up to 50, 60, 70 seconds, which is pretty unacceptable for a website to download. This chart shows um, just with and without a CDN, it's an actual CD Networks customer running tests over the same period of time without the CDN and with the CDN, and you'll see that we're able to have a 62% um, improvement from 1.3 seconds to point to under half a second, and that's for a single object. But you can imagine when there's multiple objects, um, multiple images, videos, whatever, on a website, that that even gets worse. So. With a CDN, you know, you're looking at a much more improvement, 62% improvement in this case. So why? How does it work? So um, say you're, you have your website hosted on the east coast of the United States, and it's through an e-commerce site or maybe your own hosting data center, and you want to reach China. So without a CDN, you're basically at the mercy of an inefficient Internet. You don't have control over the path that your website or, will take. And you, then you have to contend with the Great Firewall, which it does add probably five or six seconds no matter what. And once you're in China, you've got poor peering between the ISPs. So it's pretty hard to go from one part of China to the next because the ISPs don't peer well together. So with a CDN, we set up edge servers. So you're going to have an edge server to edge server. We have CD Networks has um, 140 points of presence or edge servers around the globe, and in China, 25. So basically, CD Networks provides a fast, secure tunnel where you're going to go edge server to edge server. Once you're in China, we have 25 points of presence that will take you anywhere in the country without having to rely on the ISPs peering. So it's a quick delivery of websites and applications globally. And you also, when you employ a CDN, you don't have that upfront cost for hardware or software. Um, you're basically just running on an existing network that's efficient and secure. And it's good to, to know in some countries that you have in-country expertise. Um, China, for instance, has licensing requirements. 
several countries have government regulations, um, some Middle East and Russia, China have regulations. And then you also want to know that your CDN is always monitoring your site, ensuring it's not blocked, ensuring that it's not being attacked. <laughs> um, so you want to make sure that you have monitoring and that you have fully integrated managed services. So why does this matter? Um, basically, faster sites perform better. Uh, you will definitely gain in customers and traffic. You can see a social gaming example on this, on this um, slide that shows uh, a company that started with CD Networks in February of 2012, and you can see their traffic before that. And then as soon as their website became much faster in the markets they were trying to reach, their traffic increased by 3.7 times, 3.7 times. So, and Google is well aware and has come up with a lot of studies about how the, the time that the, the page load takes, it, it, as it increases, then your um, traffic decreases to that website. So there are studies that Google has put together, and you can find those on the Internet by Googling. Um, and Amazon basically has stated that um, 100 milliseconds of delay has reduced their revenue by 1%. So that's milliseconds the reducing revenue. And Shopzilla found that speeding up their website by 5 seconds increased their conversion to sales by 7 to 12%. So I think it really is you know, pretty evident that companies um, agree that having better performance is um, go going to increase satisfaction and users staying on your site, um, users finishing their transaction. So if you are looking for a CDN, how, how would you choose one? So if you're in retail and you do take credit cards or customer information on your site, you want to make sure that they're PCI certified. That's the credit card standard put together by Visa and MasterCard and all the credit cards um, that is a standard for protecting data. It's encryption. It's um, ensuring that anybody who has access to the servers has had a background check. I mean, all sorts of things that, that ensure that data is secure and your customer data is secure. Another one is security in general. Um, you want to make sure that your, your CDN is monitoring the site, that they're using secure protocol, that they're using secure, um, just, just a secure solution overall, as well as um, some CDNs have integrated DDoS uh, mitigation and protection against DDoS attacks. So that's something that you want to look for. Um, global availability, make sure that they have presence in all the countries that you are looking to reach where you would like to have customers or know that you could potentially have customers. So that could be Russia, China, the Middle East. It could be Mexico, South, South America. Make sure that they actually have a point of presence in those places and that they are performing well. Media acceleration is kind of a basic for CDNs, um, accelerating video and audio. Content caching is kind of what CDNs are known for. So caching some of the content that served to all users on all the points of presence around the globe, that speeds up their access to any of that content. So things that, that every user sees, like your home page images. But then dynamic web acceleration is for dynamic content. Not all CDNs have this. And that's when you have a shopping cart or you have a transaction, or maybe you want to have a customized experience for some of your um, better customers, then that's dynamic web acceleration. And it does have to call back to wherever that origin data center happens to be. But with CD networks, we have um, efficiencies where we say you have to call back a dozen times on a normal situation, but with a CDN, it, it reduces that to three times. So it's technology that makes that much more efficient. Then if in some countries you want that in-country presence, which I had mentioned on the last slide, um, to mitigate any kind of um, regulations or site being blocked or having the wrong content. Um, and you want to make sure you've got that in-country presence and support. And then the last thing is dedicated Tier 1, Tier 2, and Tier 3 support. CD Networks has um, dedicated support as far as they are employees of the company, and it's 24-7, so when you offload your um, website to a CDN, then you basically are, are getting 24-7. It's much better supported than a lot of companies have within their own company. So it's always being monitored, and there's always people there to, to ensure that everything's running smoothly, um, and it's dedicated, and um, so you can, you can be assured about the support. And then last slide, um, a little bit more about CD networks. Um, we are accelerating over 40,000 sites, and as I mentioned, 140, 140 points of presence around the globe. 
and our solution is integrated performance, security, and scalability. And we are leaders in emerging markets. Um, you can see South, South America, Mexico, um, South Africa, um, China, Russia, a lot of Middle East countries, a lot of coverage there. Um, so you can see some of the companies that are using us. Uh, Bali is using us to reach China. Samsung globally, Tesco is a UK um, uh, UK retailer that also has presence throughout Asia, and they're using us, especially in Asia, to accelerate their site. Jewels and River Island. Um, we have travel companies like Virgin Australia, Slide Watches as well, and Container Store, just a sample of customers. So that concludes the webcast. Um, hopefully it was informational. If you have more questions, please email us at info at cdnetworks.com or call. And um, I've included some links to some white papers and some more information um, on, on the portal here or on the console. And uh, thank you very much for joining me. And hopefully you have a great day or evening. Thank you.